Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of adenomyosis. I think this is one of the most requested videos in the last few days. A 35 year old female patient came with dysmenorrhea and menorrhagia. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see a bulky uterus. You can see the body looks like a globular shape and the biometrial ecotexture is inhomogeneous. You can see some tiny cystic spaces here also. Let's see on real time. Here on real time, you can see this globular uterus. You can see the myometrial thickness is asymmetrical. The posterior myometrium is slightly thicker than the anterior one. This is the endometrium. You can see the endomyojunction or the junctional zone is quite irregular. You can see some tiny cystic spaces within the myometrium. You can see some ecogenic lines and islands here. This represent the endometrial extension into the myometrium. You can also see some fan-shaped shadowing. If you look at the overall myometrium, about less than 25% myometrium is normal. When you see this type of adenomyosis with less than 25% of normal myometrium, it is called the diffuse type. Cervix has a tiny nebothian cyst. Here is the picture. You can see the globular uterus with irregular junctional zone. These are ecogenic lines and islands. The overall myometrium is heterogeneous with tiny cystic spaces. You can see some shadowing here. And the picture with asymmetric thickening of the posterior myometrium and other features of adenomyosis. These are the ecogenic lines and islands. And the picture of the uterus in longitudinal and transverse sections. You can see cystic spaces here. You can see the endometrium, but the junctional zone is irregular and ill defined. Here's the color Doppler picture. You can see the area of adenomyosis shows no abnormal translational vascularity. So, in summary, an enlarged globular uterus is seen with asymmetric thickening of the myometrium. The myometrium is inhomogeneous with irregular junctional zone, subendometrial tiny cystic spaces, along with ecogenic lines and islands, with fan shaped shadowing and without any translational abnormal vascularity on Doppler. So, this features conclude it as a case of adenomyosis. Now, the take home message. We recommend you to go with two different journals when you are planning to study adenomyosis. Firstly, I will go with the second one and here you will get 7 points to report an adenomyosis. You have to say whether adenomyosis is present or absence. You have to talk about the location, whether it is focal, mixed or diffuse type. And then you will go with the cystic or non-cystic type. We will talk about the involvement of the uterine layer, its extension and the size of the adenomyosis lesion. And this one is the first one where you will get the Musa consensus about fibroid and adenomyosis. You can also get idea about different types of adenomyosis here, which will help you report the cases. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.